Today, we're going to create labels for our email to help organize it. Labels act similarly to folders. If you go underneath the word Gmail, and I'm going to click and drag or scroll down to get to the word labels. Over here, it says labels, and there's a plus. Here, you can add the name for your label. You can type in the name of your label, and then you can drag emails that match that label. You can also add subcategories. So you, if this is a subcategory that goes under a larger category, you can do that as well. I'll show you an example over here of a label called All Google. If I click on this little triangle, it will expand and you can see my subcategories underneath Google. These are all things that belong to Google, but these are my subcategories. To hide that, I can just click on that triangle again, and then they're all nested underneath there. That is what it means to nest a label. Let's say that you already have some labels created and you have some emails that are not yet added to a label, or maybe you don't have a label that fits it. So I can go over here. This one does not have a label attached to it. So I'm going to select this email and then up here at the top I can either create a new label, manage an existing label, or add it to a label. I actually have a label already created under apps Screencastify. So this label goes with Screencastify because up here you can see it says welcome to Screencastify. So I'm going to add it to that label and I'm going to click apply. Now, when I go back into my inbox, you can see that this label has been added. Why is it helpful? Well, if I wanted to find that email again, I can click under my, my nested labels and I can find everything having to do with Screencastify. Once I click on that, everything related to Screencastify will show up just by clicking on the label. So that just makes it super easy to find emails that I'm looking for.